How are you guys doing today? I hope you're amazing. So, we're back. We're going to be doing some hunting today. Um, I already just barely knocked out my uh, dailies. So, we're kind of good on them. It's going well. I'm going to be shooting over right here to uh, this um, Panton Jungle Trans uh, Teleporter area right there. Kind of like keeping my eye on who's on the planet. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, of course. Okay. So, the area that we're going to go is to the west. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just pop out my helicopter. I already repaired my stuff. I'll be using a combustive attack nano chip with a uh, Neo Psy kinetic amplifier number six. Um, these guys are pretty big. But we're not really going to do this, like, fair-ish. By the way, this is one of the better creatures to hunt if you can do enough damage to take them down before they get all up on you. I'm a little low to the ground there, huh? They should be right in here. We'll, we'll be coming up on them in a second. And I'll give you guys the coordinates for this. These guys are, like, very good to hunt, just to be honest. Um, this bridge is how I know we're coming up on their area. What in the crap is that? A 36 level swamp creeper. Now you guys, this guy, this guy I don't know anything about. The swamp creeper right there. That, that, that makes me a little nervous. We'll avoid pissing him off. We're going to be going for these 25th level right here. And I'm going to show you why. Let's hope he doesn't pull me near this guy. I don't trust that guy right there. I don't even know crap about this 36 level swamp creeper guy. But we know about these guys. So on these, we're going to be able to literally engage them and kind of walk back slowly. Because we're doing enough damage. We'll take them down right before they get to us. Now on this guy, I'm kind of thinking we might want to look up at the damage type for swamp lurkers. If they have it listed. There's a chance to kick his butt. There's a chance he wipes us out. So. And there's some crack shields. Uh. Basically, you get a lot of good stuff off these, but these are the ones you want to hunt. If you can throw enough damage. I'm not saying, like, you can get yourself killed wastefully. Because um, you still have to actually put them down, you know, before they get to you. But in most of the cases, they, they, won't, they aren't going to get a shot in on us. Like, I'm not going to say most, but in some of the cases, at minimum. But that was a good, nice hit. So, I have got a pristine off of these guys already, by the way. There's an epic little thing. Um, I sold it, because I'm not currently even anywhere near working on that stuff, so. But these guys do drop pristines, by the way. And you're going to notice, we're going to go up this... Uh, pretty fast because these guys aren't the little guys they're a little kinder with the reward a lot kinder with the reward you guys boom just like that look at that holy crap I love this game not just because of that stuff but what the crap is this a guardian now I think that they're trying to set us up, you guys. Do you see this? They've got a jumbo swamp lurker up in there. They got some kind of guardian tide claw. I don't know if I can kill a guardian tide claw before it gets to us.
Nah, I'm pretty sure 35 levels, that, that, that's just enough that there's no way I take him now before he gets to me. Maybe if we pull him and then, um, crap, this was a bad angle. See, we're losing so much attack time here. So we won't go that other angle. See, we lost too much attack time on him and now he's hitting us. Yeah, that's that that we're not doing that. Okay, let's go kick the crap out of this. So we stay up here for sure. But see we're already at thirty percent. So we're going gaining good percentages. I kinda wanna kill this thing guy. We've got both guardians standing next to each other. I swear to gosh, this is set up. Yeah, you guys have thoughts on this situation? I think we need to clear it. Okay, I'm going to hit him as much as I can. God, that guy's a tank. Okay, if he gets too close, we'll have to switch to our thing and get some distance on him again. Oh, he's starting to get on us. Look at that. Okay, hold on one second. I'm just getting him some distance. They don't regen fast, so we can kind of do this a little different. For, you know what I mean? So let's get him right over here. Maybe we'll drop some more bombs into him real quick. Okay, now I'm going to run this way. He shouldn't be able to actually get us. Now, one time I was trying to show somebody how easy these are to do like this. And I was mining, right? And I didn't realize I was super overweight. And, um, whew, yep. I went to, like, be sneaky, cut around him like I just did, not realizing I was speeding impedimented. And, uh, he got me. Like, twice in a row, actually. It was kind of embarrassing. Not horribly embarrassing, but, you know, like, when you're trying to show how easy something is, and then, like, you show the opposite it's not exactly the way to go but see look at that they hooked us up that's a lot of stuff but that took freaking tons to kill him so now we've got this swamp creeper you guys I'm gonna be honest about this swamp creeper I don't know anything about it and I'm a little bit of you know like hmm, do we want to pull him yet I'm going to kill him, but we'll wait towards the end, because in all honesty, there's a chance that he just runs up and beats the tar out of us. So remember, he's up in there. I don't even know what he's doing in there. That seems like a real big ambush, doesn't it? I've never seen a swamp creeper in there before. Not saying he's not always in there. I just never noticed him for sure. All right, right here. Boom. Oh, come on, guy.
Entropia Universe Swamp Lurker. Just trying to get his damage types and stuff, just so I know what we're looking at. I'm not capable of doing both competently. I was kind of trying to look, but then I was like too worried about this. So hold on one second, then I'll look. Okay. Penetration and burn damage. Uh, do you think that they do burn damage, you guys? Okay, I'm going to put on my um, Perseus armor. We're going to find out how tough this guy is right here. We're going to get him out of there. I don't like him being there. And I'll switch back to my other armor after we kill this guy or find out that he's too tough for us to kill. He's very good at jamming, you guys. So this guy's serious. Don't don't mess with him if you're not like set up. Yeah, this guy does more than penetration, or he wouldn't be getting through, so he does do something else. I don't know what it is. But he is one angry dude, right? Is like really set up for this kind of situation. Holy crap, I did not like that guy at all, you guys. Okay, back to the providers. Oh, hold on. Uh, gotta, oh, sorry about this, we do need armor on, I just don't want specific armor on, because it's kind of wasteful after you know what I mean? The Perseus armor we're, we're, we keep for specific situations like that kind of crap that we just had happen. Like, but for everything else, it's definitely not a hey, let's use our Perseus armor. So one second. Now we don't have that serious threat up in there. And honestly, I really did consider him a serious threat. If he would have ambushed us, it would have got us. Like, that that guy was serious as crap. I, I literally don't, don't think I'll be going and finding those just to mess with.
No, oh, he's gonna get to me. See? What the crap? We just globaled again, you guys. They probably just felt bad because of that epic battle that we had. And they're like, hey, we'll give you another glove. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. These guys are awesome. I absolutely do believe they're one of the better things to hunt on this planet. So, compared to the littler ones, they just give ridiculously better stuff. So, if you can, like, stay away from them. Um, last week, I got a pristine off them. Like, sold it for 400 ped. I was pretty happy about that. I mean, I don't know if it was 400. Yeah, it was 400. I think maybe 450. I'm not really sure. But in that zone... Um, and I've had a, a considerable amount of good luck on them. They're big, and if you do let them get up on you, they will kick the crap out of you. Obviously, he could three-hit me, right? But, uh, the thing is, they're so slow. And honestly, if you had two or three people, these would never get to you. Ever. you just sat there blasting the crap out of them. He's gonna get to me right here, see? Maybe. He's dang close. One swing on me at least. Ooh. See? And we got a good amount of stuff there. I'm going to actually heal myself just because... Honestly, they, they could do some damage. If they get a, a critical strike on me, we all know that that's going to be a... I don't know. Maybe it could kill me. I would expect that it just kicks the crap out of me and gets me dang close to death. But who knows, right? Oh, no, no, no. We're way too close. They tried to trick us there by not shooting. See that? You got to watch that. We locked onto one in the back or something. That giant lurker guy, though, man. Oof. I don't know how often I'm going to come out here and find those, but I'll avoid them, I think, from here on out. That, that was a... Uh, I would consider on the edge of my capabilities. That guy could have got lucky one time and just wiped us, so... He's going to get to me barely. Such big dudes. I'm trying to figure out which one's in front right there. Ooh. But these guys are the much faster way. If you're just landing on the planet to codex, don't do the little tide claws. For one, I mean, like, if, if you need to, do the little tide claws. So I'm not meaning it like that. But these literally are just going to have better loot. And if you're throwing out enough damage, or if you're in a team, they're not even really going to get to you. In fact, these should be being team hunted like crazy because they're so slow. Four dudes walking backwards would take him down for sure. I really like watching them drop too. I don't know why. They're just so big. You feel like you've accomplished something when it... Oh, that's insane. You would be tearing the crap out of these. I wish I had a tier 9 combustion chip. That's gotta be nice you would be rocking the crap out of these oh I would believe that for some reason yeah every time I'm working on a noble goal it takes so many months in this game that's how you know it's noble that is awesome though eight months is worth it I, I mean just to be honest that that's pimp as crap 
kind of nuts that it would take eight months to go from 8.5 to 9, but... Oh, that's cool as heck. You're going to dominate this world. Like, the stuff, a lot of it moves slow. So, like, you don't have to hunt the same. Like... So I haven't hunted the willies yet, but my understanding is that you can just swim backwards on them too. And so if that's true, they have an insane amount of life, but basically, um, oh yeah, this is definitely an amazing planet, like just such an amazing planet. I'm so excited to see what it's like after the updates and stuff like that. You know, I see we got another guardian. Let's get him. So these guardians I'm liking too, but here's the deal. I do feel a little awkward running around. So, spider bots are literally my favorite robot on this planet to hunt. I think they're literally epic as crap. So, for one, they global well. For two, they have a variety of amazing stuff. But ESI, yeah. And 85 ESP, uh, 85 pet ESI is freaking epic though. That is, uh, that's some ped there. And so I would have got so excited on that kind of thing. And then I would have been trying to figure out what the heck I was doing because I'd feel rich. I would feel rich, you guys, I'm just going to say. Are we going to take him down without having to run around him? Could it happen? So, um, I got a slate gray cosmetic pin. I've never even seen that. Hold on. Some girl's gonna buy this off of me for sure. This. Oh, they're more common than I thought, you guys. I apologize. I got real excited. I was like, some girl that wants a slate gray look is, is going to be super excited. Oh, yeah, no, all that stuff is rare. So my understanding is the uh, level three or the tier three ones, um, series three or generation three and stuff like that can drop those vouchers um, in which I can't redeem the vouchers yet because I don't have enough Cyrene cred in the badges, but uh, I haven't got a voucher either, but I do know people that have got the vouchers, the weapon vouchers off of them, and some other stuff, and so just the list, plus do you know that there's shopkeepers on those? Like straight up, the spiders have shopkeepers on them. I mean, it's rare, but you can for sure get a shopkeeper off of a spider. And those are freaking big bucks. You know what I mean? That's like... I mean, an 85 pet ESI is, is big bucks too. But a shopkeeper is, is definitely not hurting. You know what I mean? These guys are just so easy to do. Like... This is kind of something that you could do just chilling. Because they're not like hard. I wish I was on repeat on spiders. That's insane. That is epic as crap, man. I'm still working through them. I think they're a pimp. Yes, the spiders. Those um, spiders on Cyrene drop shopkeepers for sure. Like, not only I know for sure, but another dude verified it too. But I for sure know that they do drop them. Rare as crap. But not only that, what's his name um, that's always up there too, hunting him. He, he got some too. He's got one before. But he's also got one of the vouchers. And uh, I never have got a voucher. I don't hunt as much as him though. So, honestly, it's kind of fair that I wouldn't have got one and he didn't tell me which generation it was off of every time I see him he's usually hunting the generation 2 ones but that doesn't mean he didn't jump in and 
knock the crap out of a three or a four one day and you know what I mean I like the threes that's my preference one right now it's in that right zone for my equipment and everything and they drop well and they're the ones that are rumored to uh, drop vouchers from my understanding I don't know that the others don't I just know a hunter got a voucher off of a three so yeah anything above the three I feel I'm in a serious fight and uh, I'm always not not confident that when it becomes too serious of a fight that it's in my benefit ped wise Ooh, this guy was trying to be creepy. Ooh, we should have been further away. Oh, so somebody, and I don't know who, got a non-limited voucher for a weapon. But three limited vouchers is pretty good. Did you get them all off of the threes or the fives? Because that is absolutely pretty good. They're just so rare. I got a pristine off these guys. I was pretty happy about that. Oh, 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 look at that. I got myself pinned against the wall. That's what I think so too. Crap. I got sloppy, you guys. Hold on. That's what happens. You start not paying attention. This guy hits. No. Hold on. I'm going to get myself some distance. See, anytime I don't pay attention for one second, that's how I get myself killed. In pretty much every game I play, like, I get myself killed more than the monsters kill me, you guys. That's true. They decided to at least be nice about that. So, yeah, the vouchers, I think that they're going to refill everything, too. Because, honestly, I want them to refill some of the stuff for uh, greedy purposes. Like, the one vendor for the, the coins, I would like them to put some flamethrowers back in so I could grab some. And other things like that. But yeah. Super excited about that. I think that they're going to restock everything. But I didn't know there were only seven guns left in there. That's kind of hilarious. So when they do the update um, that's coming really... I haven't. So I visited with people that... Because I thought I couldn't. I thought like, oh, there's no way I'd be able to take them. So I visited with people and they're like, no, as long as I swim away, supposedly they won't be able to get to me. But I have not even tried to kill one yet because in all honesty, I really, in my mind, thought that they were uh, out of my zone. They're like a level 100 freaking creature. Oh. Oh, you can swim away from muck jaws. Okay, oh, look at that guy's back. So our Swamp Creeper does come back. See, that's good to know because I avoided both the water ones because... Man, mustaches are ticklish things. I'm just going to say that. This guy right here... I don't know what I think about him. I will try him. I just didn't know that it was... I knew I could swim away. You know what I mean? Oh, that's good to know. The Ren parts. That Ren armor looks not bad. Actually. I mean, like it doesn't look off the chart, but it looks pretty okay. 
Ooh. So we have one of these Zulkin relics. What is this thing? Okay, I don't, I don't know the point of that. So we'll just move on. Okay. So, yeah, no, I haven't hunted them. I'm going to go try them, though. Because, uh, basically, I avoided them and the willies because I thought they would just slaughter me. And so... But everybody told me that basically you just swim backwards and keep firing and they won't get to you. In which, if that's true, then it's just an amount of damage output. Which is not bad. Oh, I will. I'll be swimming backwards. I'll have to figure out where they are. Yeah, I knew they did a lot of damage. But anything at that level is going to do damage, right? I'm taking computer right now because it goes towards our uh, robot looting. As weird as that is, you guys. And we're taking uh, Intel. Oh, man, stamina is there. You guys have no idea how hard this is. Hold on one sec. I got my blow my nose real quick. It's just itching the crap out of me. Holy crap. This guy we know we don't want to mess with, right? That was too hard last time we got him, but that was rough. Honestly, these guys global like crazy, too. We've got two globals since we've been doing this. How much do you think we'll get X or percentage wise? That creeper. I wonder if they drop something special though. Like should we be killing the creeper every time he appears? That was a really close battle. I feel like that's the kind of thing that I would rather kill consistently with somebody else. Oh, has it been an hour? How the heck did an hour go by like that? Oh, it hasn't been an hour. That's our last pill. Never mind. Just wanted to check how much we have. Hold on one second. I want to get some distance. That guy's too, uh, too close. Okay, you have a good meal, actually, then. And have fun. Thank you, by the way, for hanging out. This hunting is always more fun with people with information and visiting, you know. I'd like to get another pristine off of this guy. The willies, though. That, that I would really like to get a pristine off of. I know tons of people that have been on this planet hunting like crazy, though, to get a pristine, so... Off of the willies, specifically. And so... And I have heard mean things about their loot. Like, the willies supposedly don't loot well. It's just that everybody's after that dang pristine off of them. And so, uh... They hunt them. But they're a 100-level creature. You know, and so, like... That just doesn't go down. 
I mean, it goes down, but like, these guys eat some pet, but a hundredth level creature. Can you imagine that? I'd have to Google, but I think they have like some insane amount of life. Look at that, we get 5% per kill. 20 of these dudes would give us a, uh, another codex. In which we'll get that extra codex for sure. He didn't get anywhere near us. Yeah, I've totally sold on these providers over the uh, other ones. It's a giant area. You have plenty of room to back up. I'll show you guys where this is just in case you guys have just joined and don't know where this is. It is on Planet Siree, by the way, too. Oh, good. So, these drill bots and spiders are becoming like my favorite stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Barely got him in time. Okay. We're not messing with giant Mr. Super Lurker over there. Although maybe we should. Come on, fire, fire. Definitely don't want to get that close to that dang dude. I wish I had a repairable number nine. A repairable combustion nine chip would be nice as heck, right? I'd be dominating you guys. Just so you know. crack shells so the crack shells have a huge markup by the way you guys get into this we don't have very many of them we're not going to use them for their markup we'll use them for the daily but
Oh, it's a little guy. I'm gonna just clear him out of the way because. Okay, right there. Gotta watch this stuff like a hawk. I think this guy's getting to us. I saw two jams in there, I think. And we barely take them down by the time they get to us normally. So two misses is likely to be an issue. Three jams, he's getting to me. Okay, right here. See though, how easy these guys are, convenience wise? I'm like, yeah, you want to throw down some damage, but honestly, even if you weren't like high level you could get just a bunch of people together and all walk backwards and take these down boy this guy's really taking it we usually have him down by here right this is right where they die I guess that's right where he's gonna die too though Oh, look at that, freaking again. So that is our third global on this. Just so you guys know, we, we've at least globaled almost, frick, I don't know. I don't know how much we've globaled. We've globaled a lot. Like, these things love us. And so if you're wondering what, what animal you can just global the crap out of, right? So it doesn't really appear like those spiders and these. Ah, I like these. It literally might be one of my favorite new hunts. Like those spiders and these guys. I'm going to still hunt drill bots and security bots. I mean scout bots and stuff. But holy crap these guys are awesome right? I think these guys are awesome. When you've had three three globals in 45 minutes, you definitely cannot complain, you guys. Come on, come on. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't walking back into a, a tree trunk again like last time, you know, like. Oh, now he's totally going to get to us. Okay. 
Okay. That swamp creeper. I'm trying to avoid him. I thought he wasn't going to come for us for a second. I'm like, I'm not going in there. Look at this. Okay. Trying to figure out which one day is in front. He's not close enough yet. There. I don't know why I've jumped there twice. I'm not hitting the button there. It's just some kind of weird glitch jump. Good. Advanced don't. You know, we're not getting anything like super impressive. But, like, we've done good. So I'm not complaining for sure, but. Some of the more rare drops would be good. He's got multiple jams at this point. He's likely going to get to me. Mm. Ah, I went forward and I didn't hit him. See, I just assumed he was going to go down there. Got myself hit for no reason. I kind of think maybe we should take him out, but kind of think we should wait till we're done with this and then then deal with him. Okay, four seven. I'm trying to get an idea how many throws it takes to uh, take one of these guns down. It's less than 20, I'm sure, but...
Okay, that gives us an idea. I just wanted to kind of have a clue how much we were going to need to finish this out. Maybe 100 pet does it. Maybe we need to throw a little bit more in. I don't know. Who knows? But we need to kill about 11 of these guys, right? Yeah, we need to kill 11. These guys are such big creatures. They would make a mount, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't think they need to make them into a mount. I'm just saying, like, you, this, this is one of those creatures you could believe that somebody could ride around. Some wool. Honestly, don't know. Look at this crap. There's now two of them out there. Oh, guys. So, like, slowly, we'll fill this whole place up with those dudes. So, we'll have to take care of one of them at the end, anyway. Just because. So, we're not leaving a bunch of swarm stalker dudes out here. Creeping around. That's interesting. I wonder how many we kill before another one appears. Well, he didn't get anywhere near us. <sighs> Hold on. I had to switch armor to deal with those guys, so we're not dealing with them until we have to actually deal with them. Okay. I think we can finish out this codex and then we'll take out one of these guys. But these have definitely just made one of my top favorite mob groups. For sure, actually, at this point. They honestly had made my top favorite mob groups like the other day for this planet. Like for low level mobs, though, can I tell you, there's several amazing mobs on this planet. Like ridiculously good for skilling and such. We're doing really good on these cracked shells, though.
This guy might get to me. Honestly, these guys are such a little perfect hunt. If I was doing just a small, small pitch more damage, though, we'd have none of them getting to me. And so... Maybe I'll come out here one day with somebody that just wants to do damage support and hang out. Kill these all day. I love watching those drop. They're just so dramatic. Okay, I'm going to run over here because obviously this guy we pulled at a stupid place, right? Oh, wrong one. Come on. I'm gonna just move a little bit further away. How did he just hit me? I should be moving much faster than you guy. Oh, see, that's the kind of dumb thing that I do once in a while. I'll be right back here. But that was just pure why? Why? He didn't kill me. I got myself killed. We all agree there, right? Okay, let's death location us. Get our little hilly thing. It's little decisions like that where you just get impatient. You're like, oh, let me decide to... Uh, Run out up at him. Ooh. Good thing we healed beforehand so we didn't kill ourselves by flipping our skateboard, right? I love that skateboard. Now try to make better choices from here on out so we don't get ourselves killed like that. That's ridiculous. Okay, we're at 65%. We won't count this guy. Oh. That guy will count. Gotta not make the decision to run at the guy trying to kill you last second. Come on. I 
I don't know what my temptation with running at them is as they're dying, but uh, sometimes gets me killed. Duchess of Duke just kicked butt right there. Do you see that? That's a 4,000 pad explosive projectile craft. Who doesn't get excited about that? This guy's jammed at least two, three, maybe. He'll likely make it to us. Maybe not. He's still pretty far away, and we're knocking the crap out of him. I was really hoping for a global there, you guys. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not going to say that there's ever a time I'm not hoping for a global, but... Sometimes I extra assume it, like, yeah, one's coming right here. Could happen. We had three or three globals at least so far, so I mean. Pretty sure it was just three. But that's pretty good. This guy's getting closer, and look at he's jamming better. Ooh. Luckily, we're right by that place, so it's not like you totally messes us over. We might get 5k in uh, anatomy. Not today, probably, but, you know, real soon we'll be hitting 5K in anatomy. That'll be pimp. Maybe today, but we have four more points to make. It could happen. Come on, little crab. I resisted just joint running at it and getting us killed again, guys. These guys, how many of those are out here now? I think there's only two swamp stalkers in there. Or creepers or whatever they're called, you know. And we're dang close to this codex, so.
so close. I think that's within the zone that we easily could do this and kill a swamp lurker. Dude, one of those guys. Some serious throwdown on these guys, right? get some distance here we throw anything at that guy this close he'll definitely get to us up oh, see this is that thing where we got trapped Got to watch for that tree. Come on. These are such big creatures. So much life, right? Okay, looks like we have about three more of these guys to kill. Be nice if they'd give us a whirly whirly, but they have already been pretty, pretty kind to us. So, I mean, like, what can you say? In one block. Definitely got enough cracked, uh, Shells to do the little daily for a little bit though too. Oh, he's getting to me. Look at this guy. Right here. Oh, they hit so freaking hard. I'm even wearing serpent plate on this. I mean, this is adjusted pixie with serpent plate, you guys. So when they get to me, they are hitting serious. They're not like, hey, let me play with you. Definitely, you could probably have better better options for these guys for sure. I'd have to look up their damage types. But I would bet that there's armor that would be almost perfect for these guys. Come on.
Okay. Two more. And then that guy. These giant crabs are just one more thing, though, that makes Sirene so epic. Pretty high level. Great, absolutely, for looting. Super slow. Oh, he might get to me, though. Okay, we're gonna kill him and then we're gonna go and take out this guy. I'll switch armor. The creeper is definitely gonna be a different story than these guys. And honestly, I probably should grab a little bit more pet because I'm not really sure how much it'll take to take him down. Come on. Okay, there's our codex. I was wanting them to give us another uh, thing, but they were denying us on that. Let's think, 58 is not gonna be enough to take him out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split off probably 50 more ped in ammo. We'll convert it so we know we're gonna take him, right? I'm gonna switch up to uh, Why was I going to call this something else? I was about to call it. Yeah, it's Perseus. For some reason, I was about to call this Prometheus armor. I don't think there is a Prometheus armor, but there could be. That would be cool, right? So when this guy comes in on us, we'll use this to augment our healing and this to cap ourselves up. He's going to be wanting to kill us, though. Ready? Anger, anger, stuff, stuff. I timed that badly, so we're going to have a complicated fight here for a second. Why aren't we... we... we should... There. I just need to pull him a little bit away from them. He's gonna lose. It's just we have to pay attention to what we're doing or we will die.
Okay, I'm taking out the other one. Oh, so what I'm doing is I was clearing out these guys so they're not here. What we are doing is this uh, tide claw thing. But then these guys kept appearing. And so we're kind of having to get rid of them because I don't want to leave them here. But these guys are beasts. Definitely tougher than I thought they were going to be, honestly. They're a little intimidating. So I'm really not sure how often these appear, but they are definitely tougher than uh, than you would think. You know what I mean? There, there's some fight to them. Okay, hold on one second. Let's do this. Oh, boom! So that's where we're going to stop on that. And I think we'll take that as our fourth. So I don't even know how much pet we made today, guys. We got four freaking globals on this hunt. Like, I don't even know. We came in here with 300 pet. This is going to be a lot. There's 200 something pet just right there. Honestly, we just murdered it, you guys. This is this was a uh, like murdered it, murdered. I don't even know what we did. We literally have so much to, to yeah. This was a good day. So right there is where we're gonna call it. Um, I was actually just trying to clear those out so nobody had to deal with them. But this is legit my favorite mob at this point on this planet. It seems easy as crap to hunt. You can hunt it from a distance. It drops pristines and other stuff. And man, I love the spiders. But these are an easier hunt. Like, legit. And we got global after global after global. And so this is the location. If you're wondering where I'm hunting, that was hecka easy. I'm super, super happy with today's outcome. Like, don't even know what to say. But we just dominated, dominated. I'm going to go ahead and find somebody else that is actually streaming um, Entropia Universe real quick. Um, and we're going to go in and we'll uh, raid in on their channel real quick. And I want to thank you guys for being epic and uh, hanging out with me today. This was absolutely a blast kicking so much butt, to be honest. And so we'll hunt these again. Have a great day and thank you for being epic.